Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Locked yourself out of the house again? We've all done it. So go to the store, grab some spray foam, head on back, and we're going to talk about some key hiding hacks. Let's get started. A few quick notes on what not to do. Don't hide your key underneath your doormat. And don't hide your key underneath your flower pot. For this first hack, grab some insulation spray foam. Pull off the lid, screw in the top, give it a shake, and I gave it a practice run inside a box. I continued playing with the foam, giving it a variety of shapes to create the design that I was looking for. I waited for the foam to dry completely, and I'll be using Apple Barrel Burnt Umber Paint. You can use any paintbrush you like. I'm using a chip brush because I wanted to get into the grooves and the creases and crevices. I painted the entire piece of foam with the burnt umber paint, and then I'll be letting it dry completely before I move on to the next step. Now that the paint's dry, I'm gonna add a key to the bottom of this foam. Now all I have to do is place this hidden key somewhere on my grass. I'm not sure I know anyone who'd wanna go looking for a hidden key in something like this. We have meters and boxes all over our walls of our home, and some of them, the door actually opens up. Add a little tape or putty and hide your key inside one of these boxes. Close the door back up and you're all set. Depending upon what kind of fence you have, you might be able to use fence caps for this hack. Remove the fence cap, add a piece of tape to a key, and place it inside the fence cap. You could use another adhesive of your choice if you prefer. Then place the fence cap back onto the post, and now you have another spot to hide a key. Use your patio furniture to hide a key. I took my key and I was able to place it inside the lip of my table. It simply slipped right in there and stayed in place. You can also create a hiding space using a rock. Add a key to a piece of tape and place it to the bottom of a rock. Place it in an area with a bunch of other rocks and it'll blend right in. Using a real rock will look way more natural than the fake rocks they sell. This is our indoor and outdoor digital thermometer. The unit is outside, and whether you have a regular thermometer or a unit like this, all you have to do is remove the unit, place a key on the back of the unit, and then hang it back up. I tied a piece of fishing line to a key. This string is almost invisible to the eye. This is a hammock that sits in our yard. I remove the cap from one end of the hammock stand, place the key on line into the hammock stand, return to the cap. Now I have another place to hide my key. You can use decor outside to hide keys in as well. This is a lantern that hangs outside in my backyard. All I did was open the lantern up and place the key inside. Now I have a great unexpected hiding place in my backyard. Here's another lantern example. This is an enclosed lantern with frosted edges. I simply put the key inside and then I hang it up in my yard. Here is a decorative ceramic bird that I have in my backyard. And as you can see, there's a hole in the bottom. I just simply place the key inside and place the bird back on display. Another fantastic place is utilizing your rain gutters. All you have to do is place a little adhesive onto a key and place it on the top side of your gutter. Look for cracks and crevices in your home. A lot of times you can use your siding or in this case, I'll be using one of my columns. I took that key on that little piece of fish line and I was able to stick it inside this hole so that it's inconspicuous. Now when I need it, all I have to do is pull on the string and out comes the key. Also, when looking around your house, look for places like this brick ledge. All I had to do was add a piece of tape to a key and I could place it underneath the ledge. I love these magnetic key lock boxes and I've used them for years. They're great, you just put the key inside and then close it back up. This works on anything that's metal. So those lock boxes outside your home, you could place them underneath those. But one of my favorite places is your grill. You can simply place it under the outside ledge of a grill or inside the door space below. You can place your key under a storage bench or even better, underneath a doghouse. Most people don't wanna mess around if they think there's a dog around. If you have any wall art hanging up outside, the back side of that wall art is another great place to hang your keys. Just place a piece of tape and a key behind and then hang it back up. And I hope this inspires you to try some key hiding hacks of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chatscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching 
and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.